Hi again, everyone. Citizen Eater from outside the Rush Hour Grill. I'm also joined with my mentor, the senior citizen eater, a man with a PhD in burgerology, the dean of the French Fry University, a graduate of the Arby School of Roast Beef. He has the meat. He is my father, the senior citizen eater. Hi again, everyone. Citizen Eater from the Rush Hour Grill in Twinsburg, Ohio. And the most delicious looking burger and fries arrived to my table. Now I'm here with Senior Citizen Eater and I kind of blocked him out of that shot. Senior Citizen Eater ordered a different version of the burger. He ordered the Swiss, wild Swiss and shroom or wild shroom and Swiss burger and fries. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. First impression of the burger. First off, it's important that a burger is cooked to the proper temperature. You can see on the inside of mine, my burgers cooked through. I'm not a, a a rare kind of burger guy. I'm a I'm a cooked through, a medium medium wellish burger kind of guy, and that's that's exactly what Rush Hour did. But somehow, at that cooked temperature, it still remains juicy. Seniors, it is a meter showing his burger as well and uh, do you have any any opinions of your hamburger very juicy very juicy uh swiss uh is it a sharper swiss or what's the flavor it's, of the swiss and it's good you could taste it very good okay it's going in for a second bite hopefully you got a little bit of the shrooms this time uh cooked through the mushrooms and tasty mm -hmm. very okay. good uh, i know there was some concern about this arugula uh, leading into your burger, uh, do you notice that green leafy stuff on there, and it, does it add any value to the burger? I actually took a piece of it separate. Very interesting. Uh, I tasted the burger juice right off the piece. Oh, so you had a, you had a, the vegetable gave you a little precursor of what the goodness was to come. Now, French fries. Let's uh, let's raise these fries. The Rush Hour fries, I'm holding them up. They're crispy. They appear to be hand cut in-house from fresh potatoes. Uh, the Rush Hour fries in the past have been very good. Let's see if this batch uh, lives up to it. Uh, look at that. The center of the raw fries, or not raw, but the center, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That's a key to a good French fry. Uh, let's see how this, uh, how this goes. Nice crisp, well seasoned. Not overcooked. These fries do not appear to be the kind of fries, or they don't, they don't have the consistency of fries that were cooked halfway through, slow day, and then we reheat the fries. These are fresh fries, um, fries done right. It's an attention to detail to make fries the good way, and this place has that, that attention to detail when it comes to their French fries, and, and truthfully, the burger. Senior Citizen Eater, do you care to comment about the uh, French fries? Very good French fries. They don't have that uh, greasy, greasy uh, feel that some of them fast food fries have. Yeah, it's probably because they're still cutting them fresh air and, and, and preparing them to order and not, not doing things far in advance. Mm. I like them. You like them? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Next on the agenda is the onion ring. Uh, Lift up the camera. Senior citizen eater wastes no time. There's no, he goes right in for the onion ring. He didn't bother to present it. So what we have here is we have an onion ring, fried golden, crisp, full onion ring it appears. This does not appear to be any of those reconstituted onions. It's not a diced onion. Not a diced onion. So regular onion slice. And uh, a good size, about a half inch wide ring uh, and then the diameter of whatever the onion would have been this is a very natural looking product uh, so this is what it looks like this is the onion inside regular onion you can't fake this that's a real onion that's a real onion this is you know after first impression three bites in French fries, burger, onion ring. What's your assessment of the Rush Hour Grill? Oh, I'd come to eat here again. 
and this is your first time here in a number of years. First time in this location. You frequented the rush hour in the prior locations. Did but, I? Yeah, you did. Uh, it's okay. That's what we call a senior moment of the senior citizen eater. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, the senior citizen eater has forgotten more about burgers, french fries, onion rings than most men will ever obtain the knowledge. I kid you not that he has a PhD in burgerology. He is the dean of the french fry cooking and he is he's not one to be mince words. If a burger sucks, he will tell you that it sucks. He'll tell you don't go there. Senior Citizen Eater has had enough good things to know. There's a lot of places not to go. And this isn't one of them. This is this is a place that you want to come back to. I'm the Citizen Eater and I just broke bread with the Senior Citizen Eater. And it was awesome. It's really good. Happy eating everyone. Now today was Father's Day and I was uh, no shtick aside, you know, like my name is Chuck and this is my dad Chuck. And uh, I kid you not, uh, I've been blessed to have a great father. And he has shared so much, so much with me. And, you know, we weren't joking about the love of the hamburger for both of us. And uh, I've been blessed that I was able to share the love of the hamburger with my dad before I had teeth, before I left the hospital. The first item that I received as a kid, a toy. You know, I'm certain there was a baby shower and some stuff came before I was like delivered and all that good stuff. But the first item that I received after I took glorious breaths and, and, and started the, to, to want food, and uh, whether it was a hamburger or a hot dog or a and root beer, Whatever, whatever it was as a kid that I just really, really loved. Um, my dad gave me, um, kid you not, the first toy that I got from my father as an infant in the hospital before going home was a plush toy from McDonald's. Pre-Happy Meal, I'm old enough to predate the Happy Meal, but he, he bought me a Hamburglar, and, and I believe that that kind of set me up for the, the quest for uh, the great hamburgers, the great food, always, uh, uh, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. This is a, this is a good man. And uh, somehow he, he, he was able to uh, make it that I, I have an education, a job, um, passionate activities, things to do that are fun, a love for family and friends, and, uh, you know, the love for the hamburgers up there, but it's not as much as the love for family and friends. So um, it's good stuff, and I'm blessed to have a guy like uh, like my dad. And, uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I got a YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll know when I post new videos.